The beauty of a white flower, and in this case a white pansy, is that you can use the white of the paper to be the beautiful white of the flower. This is how to paint a pansy in negative painting. Here goes guys, so I'll have one here that would be the card face. I'm going to sketch out the shape of the pansy. I need a little bit of purple, so I'm going to use my brush and just activate some purple. For the grey, so this it's a white flower and what it's going to need is grey. And add some cobalt. Oh, how's that? Now there's a beautiful purpley grey. Beautiful. I've got a grey, I've got a purple, I've got some yellow around the flower and begin to wet it. So here's my purple. Wash that off so I can pick up that grey because I'm in love with that grey. Yellow to come in close. Now because I've wet it, it's only going to go up to the line without me having to try. And first I'm going to indicate that this petal sits on top of that petal there. Take that down to there and that will help say that petal's on top of that one. More water on my brush, tiny bit of tone. This one sits on top of here and I'm just going to wet that out. So I'm doing lots of hard edges and soft edges. I'm going to allow that colour to come in too. Okay, tiny bit of grey. I'm going to make this petal sit on top of that one. And this one sits on top of that one. So let's give it a little dip there, a little bit of shadow there, bring that one up. And again, damp brush to soften out all the edges. There's this beautiful yellow arc like that. Tiny bit of green in there. Down these little tiny ruffles coming from the outside in. So I just need a slightly darker colour there. That's all to cover my pencil mark. You don't have to do that. You might like pencil marks. Oh, the green is beautiful. I'm working quite quickly so that I can get all the little ruffly bits in while it's lovely and wet and they'll all kind of match up a bit. Big grey bit there. And also I get the edges running off and I, I love that look. I can tighten that later. Okay, bring my pansies back. It's lovely and dry. Now it's got a stem that's quite a straight green stem. It goes like that. That. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come up and fix it just here. Here's a little scrap piece of paper. I'm going to practice it over there. I want a little flick, flick, flick. Oh, good, excellent. Okay, I'm going to turn it down here, make it easier for my hand because it faces this way and it has a little flick there and there, 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 there. There's extra one there, there, and a little one. And then these have some too, little tiny extra ones there. They're, again, they're a little purple, but we know that watercolour dries lighter. So I'm just going to let that go for now and see if it enhances or, yeah, I think that's enhancing. And over here as well, some coming in. These are a little heavy, so I could attempt to just soften them a little bit. Could have um, taken my time to practice that a little more. But, you know, at the end of the day, well, does it really matter that much? No, I've produced something pretty and soft and I've had a nice time. And, uh, oh, I am going to use some of this gold to enhance that beautiful yellow part see there. in real time tomorrow morning on YouTube Live. I'll be doing this one in full 
at 9.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. And I'll put a link below so you can join in if you would like to, and then you can ask questions. And of course, if you're not available tomorrow morning, then you can watch it on the replay and see every step. It's a wonderful way to see absolutely everything that I'm doing. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.